What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be diving into route prefixes. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. Now looking at the routes right now, you'll see a clear pattern where they all start with forward slash block. These are named grouped routes. What we can do is structure it a little bit more to grouping them with a predefined prefix of block. So let's start off by creating a new route right below our delete route called route colon colon. But instead of adding an HTTP verb, we're going to say prefix. Inside the prefix method, we got to define the prefix of all of our routes. As you could see, they all start with forward slash block. What our goal eventually is, is adding all the routes above inside the prefix route. That can be done by chaining a method to it called group. Inside the group method, we need to have a function callback. So function, parentheses, curly brace. Let's hit enter. All right. What we could do right now is simply placing all of the routes above inside our prefix method. So let's do that. So let's add these right here. Whoops, that went wrong. These two as well. These two as well. And the last one, so the delete one as well. Let me outline it a little bit. All right, let's delete all the comments. And let me make my sidebar a little bit smaller. Now keep in mind that whenever you want to remove block inside your grouped routes, you need to have the forward slash route defined that represents the root of your block page. So let's remove it and keep the forward slash, but let's delete it for all the other routes. All right, and that's the last one. If we save it and navigate back to the CLI, perform the PHP artisan route column list command, you see that the endpoint still starts with block. It has a named route of block.index and it's calling the post controller at index methods. If we navigate back to the browser, refresh our forward slash block endpoint, you'll see that this works fine. This was it for the short video where I showed you how you could add path prefixes in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.